We need to shift ourselves. Listen, Wayans, I've already said this to you. Mommy, please. No funny business with these Protestant lads, is that clear? I don't want anybody landing back here pregnant. Not very likely in my case. I wouldn't rule it out, son. As some of you may know, I took a bit of a sabbatical last year. Do you mean when you shacked up with a slutty hairdresser, but then she dumped you? Miss Mallon, please. Raise your hand if you want to ask a question. OK, I think we should just move on. The hairdresser certainly did. Hume has again called for cross-party peace talks. John's really dying for peace-like, isn't he? It's all he ever goes on about. I hope it works out for him. I, I sort of hope it works out for all of us there. Come on, girls. Time to hit the road here. Have they roped you into going as well, son? Roped Adam? Hardly. He's riding Gary Barlow. I'm not. I, I just respect him as a songwriter. That's all. I did on James, so we do. Well, we need our passports, Jerry. For Belfast. I don't think so, love. Belfast? Oh, we're not about early, Daddy. It's a two hour drive of traffic, love. That stings in Belfast. But it's eight hours till the doors open. I know. We're cutting it fine. Belfast? Sure, why don't you just sell away and send a white slavery and be done with it? Jerry, I'll be with them, Dad. Well, that's worse. Should they hit his kind there? My kind? Pricks. OK, so this is just a little exercise I like to kick off with. Oh, give me strength. I want you guys to give me examples of things that Catholics and Protestants have in common and things that they don't have in common. Let's start with similarities. Erin, why don't you get the ball rolling? OK. So we both... Right. So, so we all... God, this is actually quite hard. Anything at all, a small thing even. OK, so, right. God, I'm actually drawing a blank here, to be honest. Not to worry. Someone else. A similarity. Yes. Protestants are British and Catholics are Irish. So that's actually a difference. Quite a... Well, quite a big difference. But that's OK. We can write that down. Now, back to similarities. Yes. Uh, Protestants are richer. OK, so that's another difference. And I'm not sure that's actually... I mean, is that true? I would say so. Mm, yeah, I suppose that's fair enough. Yes, great. Off you go. Catholics really buzz off statues and we don't so much. I do enjoy a good statue, it has to be said. So again, what we have there is a difference. Oh, Protestants like to march and Catholics like to walk. OK, can we just... Jenny, could you just... Oh, you've already written it down, have you? Great, thank you, Jenny. That time we went camping in Port Salon, sure she was like Mowgli running around them woods. She was that happy, Mary. I honestly thought about just leaving her there. Oh, Mama. This is 12A, right? That is correct, miss. And you are? Jenny. Jenny Joyce. Here we go. The Flyer by Jenny Joyce. You're not going to read it out, are you? Of course. Poetry should always be read aloud. Some flowers are tall, some flowers are small. Some flowers barely grow at all. OK. That's not the end. It should be. Here's a poem about a dog. Here's another one about a dog. This one has no name on it. An English rose among thorns. Yeah, I can see why you might want to remain anonymous, all right. Dog poem, poem about a tree. This one's called Boys. I think boys are really class, especially the ones who have a nice ass. It's called a haiku. That's not what I would call it. Dog poem, dog poem. Oh, here someone's just drawn a picture of a dog. That is not bad, actually. Thank you very much. They're going to the concert, Dad, uh, and that's the end of the matter. Finally panic at Belfast Zoo today when a polar bear escaped from its enclosure. The RUC have launched a widespread search and have warned residents in the local area to be... No, we just see that. I grant that, cos an escape polar bear's gonna track us down and kill us. As if Mommy's bothered by that. As if a polar bear's gonna rock up at a techno concert. You wouldn't get a ticket for a start. They sold out months ago. You'd be surprised, guys. Aye, the old boys would get in where drafts wouldn't. Sure, the concert's nowhere near the zoo. But he's not in the zoo anymore, is he, Simple Simon? He's sauntering about Belfast without a care in the world. I keep up, Jerry. What I'm saying is that it would be quite a lot of ground for him to cover. They're quacking their feet when they want to be, love. Someone might give him a laugh. Whose side are you on, Orla? Come on, Mary. If you don't let Aaron go, then our man's won't let us go. Well, neither the shoot. And I'd be ringing them to say as much. Oh, brilliant! Oh, I hate my life. Look, girls, I know how much you were looking forward to seeing this and that. Take 
that. But there'll be other concerts. No, there won't. The fact that this one's happening is a miracle. Nobody good ever comes here because we keep killing each other. And now we're over on we polar bears. Where will it end? Seriously! <sighs> right, listen, Gears. I've never told anyone this before, but sometimes when Robbie's being interviewed, it's like he's sending me messages through the TV. You know, like telepathically or whatever. It's like he's saying, we're meant to be together. I maybe don't tell that to anyone again, Michelle. I just want to pause and think about what's in here. What about the fact that we all feel and love and hope and... Write this down. We all cry. We all laugh. We all dream. So I just want to think along those lines for a moment. Okay. Catholics, watch RTE. Protestants love cleaning. Protestants are taller. Catholics have more freckles. Protestants hate ABBA. OK, thank you. Let me just rephrase slightly. Can you think of anything that unites every single person in this room? Is there anything that we all want? For this to be over. And we'll wrap it up there. Fancy another beer, mate? Of course, I just love beer. Don't you just love beer? Yeah, beer's nice. I love beer and football and poker and, you know, tits. Tits? Can't get enough of them. Well, then again, I am a lad. Yeah, you may be a lad, John, but I can offer you protection. I have a hunting knife. Right, OK. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Nature's calling. Whoa! Number one or number two? Excuse me? Just answer the question, John. I don't want to answer the question. I'm not comfortable with the question. Because if it's a number two, it's safer to bury it. You don't want a pack of wolves following your scent out in these parts. Those boys. They'll tear you limb from limb. We're inside. Very sophisticated noses, John. I'm gonna go now. Can't you let me have anything for myself? No. She's coming. Hey. The woman, the small, angry penguin woman. Sister Michael! <laughs> Oh, good evening, sister. We just popped round because we had a few questions about the British Empire, which the boys have cleared up for us now, so... They weren't talking about the British Empire, sister. They were having a party. I could hear the music. You will go far in life, Jenny. But you will not be well liked. What's in the suitcase, Michelle? Vodka. You brought an entire suitcase full of vodka? No. There's mixers as well, not a savage. You can mix vodka with cider, right? God, I am boiling. Is it any wonder, Claire? What are you wearing? Yeah, you look like a fucking provo. Look, I don't want anyone recognising me, OK? No one's going to recognise you, Claire. Claire Devlin, is that you? Jesus Christ. Relax, Claire. It's the weekend. She has no authority over us at the weekend. She has no right to question us. And if she tries to, I'll tell her as much. Morning, girls. Morning. Morning, Morning Sister Morning. Michael. What takes you to Belfast? I'm not really sure that... Speak up. I'm not really sure that that's any of your... Business. I'm going to assume that was an ill-judged attempt at humour, Miss Quinn. Yes. Now answer the question. We're going to the museum. Which museum? Ulster Museum. What for? A project, a history project. What about? Ulster. God, this old writing from this old carry-on is a nightmare. I know. What rhymes with raid? Bide. Bide. What the fuck does bide mean? Bide. That's not a word. It is a word, Michelle. Bide. You've pure made that up. The voice of Mr. Adams. His words are spoken by an actor. Well, with respect, and I mean, if you're watching... I will never understand the point of that. I'll never understand the point of view. Grandson. What do you think, James? You've got red eyes because I ran out of brown. My eyes are green. No, you tell me. This person has written about how much they love their English class in an embarrassing attempt to suck up to the teacher. Dog poem. Dog poem. Cat poem? Yes. I think a lot of people in this class, and I don't know who will mind me saying this, well, they have a very basic grasp of the creative process. Whereas I've been writing for years, so I'm really not afraid to put myself out there. To be bold. To take risks. And you are? That's my cousin. Aaron Quinn. Aaron Quinn. Here we go. The bullets fired on the streets as I lie in my bed. Or nothing to the bullets being fired in my head. It's about the troubles, in a political sense, but also about my own troubles in a 
personal sense. No, I understand the weak analogy. This isn't bold, Erin. It's someone failing to be bold. I'm sorry, the subtleties of my work were lost to you, Mr. Brynn.